Imagine a message in a bottle, drifting for nearly half a century, traveling billions of miles beyond any world we know. This is the story of the Voyager spacecraft, our silent emissaries to the stars. One day, their final signal will fade, a whisper of energy, the last breath from humanity's farthest reach. This final transmission marks the end of an era and the beginning of an endless journey. The significance of this final signal is profound, representing a journey that started in the 1970s. These probes, built with now ancient technology, continue to send back data. Their last signal will not be a failure, but a graduation. The journey of the Voyager probes forces us to confront our own scale. These spacecraft have traveled so far that the light from our sun takes nearly a full day to reach them. They are our eyes and ears in the darkness beyond our home. When their power finally runs out, the silence will be deafening. The Voyager probes will drift silently through the galaxy for millions of years. They carry the Golden Record, a time capsule of Earth's sights and sounds. The end of their operational life is just the beginning of their ultimate journey. They are silent monuments to a curious species from a small, rocky world. What happens after that last signal? The mission of communication will be over, but the mission of exploration will continue. They are a symbol of our aspirations to reach out and touch the cosmos. The Voyager probes will forever carry our memory into the vast, unknown expanse of the Milky Way galaxy. The Voyager missions were born from a rare celestial alignment, allowing a spacecraft to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. NASA launched two identical spacecraft in 1977. Their primary objective was to explore these gas giants up close. Voyager 1 was on a faster trajectory to Saturn's moon Titan. Voyager 2 visited all four giant planets. Each flyby used gravity assists to save fuel and time. Voyager 1 reached Jupiter in 1979 and Saturn in 1980. Voyager 2 followed, reaching Neptune in 1989. We saw raging storms on Jupiter, active volcanoes on Io, and the intricate rings of Saturn. After their planetary flybys, the missions entered the Voyager Interstellar Mission. Their new objective was to explore the outermost edge of our solar system. The Voyager probes continue their journey into the great unknown. The Voyager missions have fundamentally changed our view of the solar system. Leaving the solar system is not as simple as crossing a line in the sand. The solar system is defined by the influence of our sun, which blows a stream of charged particles called the solar wind. This solar wind creates a vast magnetic bubble around the sun and its planets, called the heliosphere. Leaving the solar system means crossing the boundary of this protective bubble. The first major boundary is the termination shock, where the solar wind slows down. Voyager 1 crossed this boundary in 2004, and Voyager 2 followed in 2007. Beyond the termination shock lies the heliosheath, a turbulent region where the solar wind is hot, dense, and chaotic. The final frontier of the solar system is the heliopause, the true edge of the sun's influence. Crossing the heliopause means entering interstellar space, leaving the sun's bubble for the ocean of the Milky Way. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in August 2012 and Voyager 2 in November 2018. Even beyond the heliopause, the sun's gravity still holds sway, with comets in the Oort cloud still gravitationally bound to the sun. In terms of the environment, the Voyagers have left home, now in a place where particles and magnetic fields come from the galaxy at large. They are the first human-made objects to experience the interstellar wind firsthand. The Voyagers are now swimming in the cosmic sea, exploring the vast, unknown expanse of the Milky Way galaxy. They are our scouts, reporting back from an unknown territory. The Voyagers are a testament to human ingenuity and our unyielding curiosity. They are a symbol of our aspirations to reach out and touch the cosmos. The distances involved in Voyager's journey are difficult to comprehend. As of today, August 6, 2025, Voyager 1 is over 167 astronomical units from the Sun. Light from the Sun now takes more than 23 hours to reach the spacecraft. When Mission Control sends a command, they have to wait nearly two full days for a reply. Voyager 2 is not far behind, currently over 139 astronomical units from the Sun. Both spacecraft are traveling at incredible speeds, 
with Voyager 1 moving at about 38,000 miles per hour. Even at these speeds, space is vast, and they are simply drifting through the Milky Way. In about 40,000 years, Voyager 1 will pass within 1.6 light years of a star called Gliese 445. To visualize this journey, imagine our solar system, out to the orbit of Neptune, is the size of a quarter. On this scale, Voyager 1 would have traveled about the length of a football field. The nearest star, Proxima Centauri, would be over four miles away. The probes are truly in the middle of nowhere, highlighting the immense emptiness of space. The power for these probes comes from a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, slowly fading. Every year, the output drops, and scientists have been shutting down non-essential instruments to conserve power. By around 2036, it is expected that there will not be enough power to run even a single instrument. The final whisper will soon fall silent, marking the end of an era. The Voyager probes will forever carry our memory into the vast, unknown expanse of the Milky Way galaxy. As the Voyager probes crossed the boundary of the heliosphere, they made remarkable discoveries. They acted as our remote sensors, revealing a dynamic and complex termination shock. Voyager 1's crossing of the heliopause in 2012 provided the first direct evidence of the interstellar medium. The density of particles jumped, confirming Voyager 1 had entered interstellar space. Voyager 2's crossing in 2018 provided a second, crucial data point, revealing the heliopause's variability. These discoveries reshaped our understanding of our cosmic neighborhood. The Voyagers detected a mysterious pressure front outside the heliosphere, challenging our models. The probes continue to force us to rethink how stars interact with their galactic surroundings. They are our scouts, reporting back from an unknown territory. The Voyagers are a testament to human ingenuity and our unyielding curiosity. Thanks to the Voyager probes, we're finally beginning to understand interstellar space. It's filled with a thin soup of particles, the interstellar medium, the raw material for new stars and planets. The Voyager's instruments have measured the density, temperature, and composition of this medium. They've detected plasma oscillations, ripples in the interstellar gas caused by solar events. The galaxy's magnetic field, stronger than expected, drapes around our heliosphere. The Voyagers measure the spectrum of galactic cosmic rays, vital for astrophysicists. This data helps us understand the life cycle of matter in the galaxy. The Voyagers provide a ground truth that was unattainable before. They are our scouts, reporting back from an unknown territory. With their primary missions complete, the Voyager probes continue their journey of discovery. They explore a new environment, providing precious data on the interstellar medium. Scientists study the interstellar magnetic field, crucial for understanding the galaxy's dynamics. The Voyagers measure low-energy galactic cosmic rays, vital for future interstellar exploration. They are doing reconnaissance for future generations, offering the possibility of new discoveries. The probes have already surprised us with discoveries like the magnetic foam at the heliosphere's edge. As long as their signals reach us, the Voyagers offer the possibility of paradigm-shifting discoveries. They are our scouts, reporting back from an unknown territory. Even in 2025, the Voyager mission continues to produce exciting science. Recent findings reveal subtle vibrations in the interstellar plasma, suggesting low-level turbulence. Comparing data from Voyager 1 and 2 shows differences in the interstellar magnetic field. These details refine our models of the heliosphere's shape and movement through the galaxy. Recent engineering marvels have extended the life of Voyager 2's science instruments. Voyager data, combined with other missions, creates a more complete map of our heliosphere. This synergy leads to breakthroughs in understanding the helios heath and energetic neutral atoms. The latest models show our heliosphere as a dynamic, porous bubble. The story of Voyager is a story of human ambition written across the cosmos. It started as a grand tour of the outer planets, changing our view of the solar system. The probes gave us detailed portraits of the gas giants, transforming them into dynamic worlds. The Voyager probes became our first emissaries to interstellar space, crossing the solar system's final frontier. They provided the first direct measurements of the interstellar medium. Their legacy is twofold, invaluable scientific data and a symbol of our species' desire to explore. They carry the golden record, 
a message of peace and hope from a small world. Long after their signals fade, these silent probes will continue their journey. They are our legacy, our loneliest emissaries, drifting through the silent starry night.